All right, so in today's video, we have a Logitech Z2300 and a Logitech Z623, both in this video that I'm going to be doing a comparison between the two, so you can see which one's a better old Logitech 2.1 system versus new Logitech 2.1 system. As far as the initial differences, realistically, the sub's bigger, the satellites are pretty much identical with the same phase plug 2-inch driver. Uh, the older system has a separate volume control and the newer one is embedded into the right surround. But anyway, in today's video, we are going to be playing between the two, listening to the differences, what is there, can you hear anything, which one's louder, old Logitech first, new Logitech. And I'm just going to start this video off with, uh, contrary to popular belief, I don't hate Logitech. Everyone thinks I hate Logitech so I blow up their subs because that was my old system and they were broken anyway. So. I don't hate Logitech, I don't like Logitech, I don't, I, I personally wouldn't run Logitech, uh, but they, they're great value for money and that's that's why people buy them and that's that's that, but I, I personally wouldn't, that's my opinion, everyone has their own, so anyway, I'm going to start this video off quickly playing the Logitech and then swapping over to Dayton, just so you can hear the difference as to why I don't like Logitech, you'll hear the difference between really really muffled highs and boomy bass to really clean bass and treble i understand there's a big price difference between the two but even just the dayton towers cost just as much as a logitech system uh and they sound just as good yeah there's less bass but you don't need as much bass they have ample bass for daily listening but anyway let's have a sound demo quickly let's start with logitech and then work our way over to dayton i don't even have to put an annotation on the screen because you'll definitely be able to tell the difference <laughs> Alright, so I'm editing this as I speak right now. However, unfortunately during the video, my microphone was going flat as you'll be able to tell by the terrible audio quality at the start compared to what you're hearing my voice sound like now on the same exact microphone. But unfortunately, the audio for the actual sound comparisons is completely unusable as you'll be able to hear right now. So I will not be using any of the sound comparison audio from what i can tell you though the z623 has more natural bass but it's not as loud it also has crisper highs the z2300 has boomier and louder bass and uh isn't as clear on the treble so that aside now let's go on with the rest of the video all right so i can't say i noticed a huge difference between the two however i wasn't paying full attention and i'm sure when i'm editing this video i'll be able to tell a clear winner but from what I was able to gather, I think the Z623 had slightly crisper highs and more natural sounding bass. The Z2300 might have just been a little bit boomy for my liking. Uh, the bass was set at full on both, which I do not recommend, but I wanted it to be really emphasized on the microphone for the video purposes. So anyway, what I'm going to do now is get my sound pressure level meter and play a 40 hertz tone. Now, just keep in mind, my SPL meter is far from accurate as far as the sound, but it will give you an indication of which one is actually louder. The number it displays is highly inaccurate, especially on bass notes, but I will use that and we'll crank these subs up until I can hear audible distortion at 40 hertz and see which one is able to get out a higher uh, level of sound. All right, so let's start this off with the Logitech Z623. Whoa, listen to that. Oh, that is absolutely horrible. Anyway, let's see what number we can get before it's audibly distorted. Alright, so I can hear distortion there when my multimeter is reading 74. Again, this number is highly inaccurate. The port noise is absolutely horrible though. Alright, so now let's do the Z2300 and see what that is able to reach. So we've got less port noise, there's 76 there, so... Uh, distortion starting to get about 78 on the Z2300, however there is less port noise and it sounds far better. However, there's the conclusion, this one is 
lots louder. I'd actually say at low volumes, this one's more musical. However, this one just gets a lot louder and sounds a lot better at high volumes because the port is much, much bigger on that sub versus that sub and there's far less port noise. However, I could feel the air from this one about three feet back from it. It was pushing out that much air out of the port. All right, so that concludes it for this video. Just comparing the two subs and just playing around with them a little bit. Again, I'm not a huge fan of Logitech. However, I'm not gonna go hating on them. They're good value for money. And if you're after a cheap PC system, go for it. They're definitely good for that. However, that's gonna conclude it for this video. Stick around for my next video. I'll be blasting bass. I love you on both of these subwoofers. So keep an eye out for that because that's going to be a good video. But anyway, if you've enjoyed, chuck a thumbs up on this video. Subscribe to my channel down below if you haven't already. Shirt links will be in the description as well as the link to my Instagram and Snapchat. So go follow those. With that being said, if you've enjoyed this video, again, chuck a like because I've said that twice and I will see you guys in the next video.